Well, good morning, everybody. We start on the radar picture, and we do have some activity over towards Marianne, up towards Dothan, trying to get into Albany. And I do think some showers a little bit later this morning for most of our area, and even early this afternoon. But it's not going to be a big time. Everybody gets wet kind of soaker. There's not a lot of rain out there. I see some of these showers trying to get over towards Donaldsonville, maybe about an hour or so from Bainbridge, maybe about an hour or so from Camilla, if they can hold together. And that's still a pretty significant if. Futurecast wants to see a lot of this activity shrivel up. The cloud cover is going to be stubborn throughout the day today. And I think the warmest parts of the day from maybe now till about 12, 1 o'clock, before that boundary passes by and we change the wind direction to bring in that much cooler air that'll be in place for tonight and tomorrow. Some of the coldest air we've had around here since last March. It's 55 right now in Thomasville, 58 Tallahassee, 62 in Valdosta. Nothing cool about those numbers. We should be in the upper 40s to start a day in the middle of November. Not around 60 like we are at Bainbridge or 63 in Mariana where we've got some showers nearby. We're at 61 in Perry and it's all 62 in Valdosta. The breeze is mostly from the south now on this side of the boundary. The breeze will turn west and northwest on the other side and that's where the much cooler air is. And as that works its way across the country, we're going to hear a lot about slop Happy wintry precipitation. We're going to hear about lots of record cold. That's all well off to the north. For us, we're going to get a couple of showers. We're going to get a significant jolt of much colder air. But I think for a lot of our region, we're talking middle and low 30s, which is cold enough. We've got freeze warnings for parts of South Georgia, for parts of the Panhandle. But I think we're talking briefly near 32 freeze warnings. Not cold enough for us to talk about records around here. And then that's in and out in just one day. Things will start to warm up a little bit on the other side. We'll talk about another boundary trying to get here with some energy off to our west that could bring some better chances for rain maybe late Thursday, early Friday. And all the while, I think our daytime highs are going to struggle for the next several days. But we're really only looking at one cold night or one really cold night before things start to moderate a little bit more. As far as the tide times go, looks like we've got the low tides underway around 730 and I'll wrap it up before 10. 50s and 60s warming into the middle and upper 60s. I want to keep the rain chances uh, 60 or 70 percent. So pretty good chances for showers through maybe three, four o'clock this afternoon, depending on how far east you are. But then we start to cool off and that breeze starts to perk up. So not only will it be cold tomorrow, it's going to be a little breezy too to make it feel even colder than it is. Most of us were talking mid 30s or lower 30s. Now, as far as the next few afternoons go, I don't think we're going to see 70 anytime soon. As a matter of fact, we may go all the way through the upcoming weekend without getting back to 70 degrees. Now that is something significant for us. But as far as the really cold mornings go, just tomorrow, guys.